Allie here from alliesblog.ca. So today is Tuesday, so that means it's the YouTubers Nail Art Stamping Weekly Collabs. This week the host is Judinka Nail Art, and the theme is Too Cute. So I'm going to be doing a cute nail design for you today. I'm going to be using a bunch of new products and kind of trying out different things so you can kind of see stuff in the video right now that I'm going to be trying out, and I'm going to try out this new creative shop stamper so if you're new to my channel i hope that you like what you see and you'll subscribe and don't forget to check out all of the other ladies designs i will have them at the very end of the video and check out their youtube and instagrams as well so i'm gonna go ahead and get straight into the video and share with you what i'm going to be using today so first off i have this polish from painted pretty or painted polish <laughs> this one is called this one is catching the canal and then i have this one which is blonde slate and midnight mischief from painted polish as well and then i have this moody london one which is frosted lake and i'm going to be using this stamping plate from clear jelly stamper which is um ic51 it's a really cute one it's a collab one with amy polish and team fusion i think it is so really excited to use that one and then this is what i'm going to be using the creative shop stamper i got this in one of my mani boxes i think the last one yeah so this is the creative shop hollow glassy stamper with scraper set so you get two little scrapers in here which seem to be okay they're kind of a little bit on the more i guess flexible side more than like Kind of harder <laughs> um i usually like the ones that are a little bit more stiff and then this is the stamper so you can see all the hollow glitter in there and then it looks really pretty it's a good size stamper and then it has um, a bottom that can come off and you can put it back on if you want to keep it on when you're stamping kind of depends on what you like doing and then yeah you just put it all back together and you are good to go so i'm gonna see if i like this stamper and if it picks up well so i'll let you know at the very end of the video kind of what i think about this one and yeah let's get into it so i'm first gonna peel off this blue film here so you know that's a new plate because i have not peeled this off yet i haven't tried this one out yet either so we're gonna see if the images pick up well with that stamper which I really hope that they do because this is a really cute plate all right now that we are ready to go everything is ready for our design I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit when I'm stamping and I will talk to you at the very end of the video
Alright, we are back and I actually really like how this design turned out. There was a little bit of hiccups here and there. I found the writing was a little bit harder to pick up. I don't know if that was the stamping polish I was using or if it was the stamper or the scraper. Um, I didn't really like the scrapers a whole lot. That's just my preference. I found they were, I don't know, I like a harder, <laughs> I like it not as like flimsy I guess. Um, but it worked out pretty well. I found the stamper worked really well. I used it for all of the designs on here. In the stamping plate, everything seemed to pick up pretty well, ex like I said, except for the words, which I kind of struggle with words on a lot of different place it plates because I find the edging is not always the best. But overall, I got it all to pick up once I changed around different polishes and stuff, so it could have been the polishes. Um, but yeah, so I liked the stamping plate, and I really liked the... Um, stamper as well so I would recommend them both if you're interested in that and I got them both from Beautometry. So that is everything I have for today. Uh, be sure to check out all the other ladies designs. As always thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.